your argument is lacking in all scientific merit. It is well established. Superman cleans his uniform by flying into Earth's yellow sun, which incinerates any contaminant matter and leaves the invulnerable Kryptonian fabric unharmed and daisy fresh. <laughs> what if he gets something Kryptonian on it? Like what? I don't know. Kryptonian mustard. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can safely assume that all Kryptonian condiments were destroyed when the planet Krypton exploded. Or it turned into mustard kryptonite, the only way to destroy a rogue Kryptonian hot dog threatening Earth. Raj, please, let's stay serious here. <laughs> Superman's body is Kryptonian, therefore his sweat is Kryptonian. Yeah, what about Kryptonian pit stains? <laughs> Superman doesn't sweat on Earth. Okay, he's invited for dinner in the bottle city of Kandor. He miniaturizes himself, enters the city where he loses his superpowers. Now, before dinner, his host says, who's up for a little Kryptonian tetherball? <laughs> Superman says, sure, works up a sweat, comes back to Earth, his uniform now stained with indestructible Kryptonian perspiration. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> Superman would have taken his uniform to a Kandorian dry cleaner before he left the bottle. <laughs> Kandorian Drake, I give up. You can't have a rational argument with this man.